Hey everyone, back again here. Um, I had some leftover paint from my previous pour. You'll see my uh, video before this one. So I don't want to waste paint. And I figured I had these two 4 by 12s um, that I had done another painting on and it was just horrible. So I am painting over it. I figured I might as well just use up the paint. So I've already gone ahead and put down a layer of white with Floetrol. I've already popped the bubbles with the torch. So let's just add some color and see what happens with this one. So I think the last one I started with the turquoise. I think I'm gonna start with, hmm, let's do orange. And I have no rhyme or reason for what I'm doing. Just thinking of it as I go. And if this doesn't work, oops, if this doesn't work out, then I'll just scrape it and do something else. This is, this is why I love this thing. Just like that and boom, gone. All right, add some yellow. Put some yellow here in the middle and some here. And I'll finish it off. I'm still gonna have a lot of paint left over. Boy, I need to figure out how much paint to use when doing these things. And let's put it here. All right, finish up whatever's left in this cup here. Just to be safe. Oh, looks like there's something in there. Yep. All right. Probably some little flow trawl junk or some dry white paint. All right. Let's get the uh, blow dryer here and blow the paint this way. Oh. Maybe blow some that way and we'll see what happens. I'm going to add some more white. Why not? Just in case. A little that way. Let's see if I can do it without going around. Do a little, let's see. That way. There, so I've totally covered both sides there. And now I'm going to blow it out and see what happens. I go that way. And I'll come around. paint there I see this is what you don't want to do you don't want to touch the paint or the canvas with your hair dryer because then you get this big scrape in the middle of your canvas so don't want to do that so let's give it a go again see if I can fix that although I'm gonna end up ruining those cells but so let's see here All right. Oh, 
what have we got here? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull them apart, just like so. This is now gonna be a diptych. Like that. Oh, look what I did. I sh really shouldn't wear my jewelry when painting. <laughs> All right, I have a straw this time, so let's see. See, the thing I don't like about the straw is it's just a really small area as opposed to doing that. I like that better. How am I gonna get there is the question. Let's just move it like that for now. Let's see. I'll move it back. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to torch the colored paint after I put it down. But that's all right, that's a big air bubble right there. Eh, so-so. Kinda got a little muddy here. Not sure I'm liking this too much. Let's see what happens when I torch Hmm, I don't know. I'm so, so on it. Let's see. Oh, that did good. Brought out some color. Okay, well, it is what it is. I think that's good. Well, let me know what you think of this one in the comments. Let's see. Did I? No, I didn't. That's a little better. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like so. And if you see here, if I move them more apart, you can see how it dripped nicely after I took them apart. Same on this side. And it looks like all sides have been covered. So there's that. There you have it. Leftover paint. Might as well make something. Let me know what you think. Yay, nay, good, bad. Leave your comments. Give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks guys, have a great night.